are just a touch different sometimes very different if I really want to change it up but that's just kind of goes to show or at least I'm trying to convey the fact that your intensity is really what's going to determine whether or not you have a good lift you know I could get you know Mr. So-and-so greatest bodybuilding coach in the world to write me a training routine and well of course I guess if I had somebody do that they would tell me like okay make sure this set is intense and but let's say they just gave me exercises. Let's say they just gave me exercises and reps. Like do 10 reps of bench, 10 reps of incline, you know, whatever. Let's say they just gave me that and it was perfect. They gave me the perfect amount of, you know, sets and reps and movements and orders and whatever. But if when I did those sets, you know, I didn't do a weight that was hard, it was very manageable, and I was just going through the motions, I would get nothing out of it. You know, it's not very difficult to just, you know, do lifts, go to the gym, and just be maintaining the build that you have. You know, like the difference between progressing and just maintaining and plateauing, it's not insane. You know, so that's where even if you think you're pushing it, you should probably try to step on the gas a little bit further, see if you can get your RPMs a little closer to 7,000. I know you've been cruising at three. You know, if you look the same from year to year or month to month, then clearly something's not working. Now, I guess if your goal is maintenance and you're you're already at your goal physique, then I guess you're spoiled. You're living the life. You know, some of us we uh, 